not only can men relate to it, but girls can too. They can have fun with it. We're not just getting pretty little girls to like stand around the cars and act as ornaments. There are actual girls out there who have literally been racing illegally for a long time. In general, the girls are pretty strong. They do have their own cars and they're passionate about their cars. I met many girls that aren't scared to kick ass. Girls that aren't scared to get their hands dirty. Girls that don't fall under the mold or category of your typical female. Right here, right now. What's it gonna be? And they're not scared to put their lives on the line in the name of excitement or fun. These girls are gritty, they're tough. They fend for themselves. It's cool to work on that, that one, to represent that for other women. basically the girl who's like into cars and who's part of like the group. As far as the backstory goes, it's as simple as Letty and Dom are inseparable. As a child, she grew up right down the street from this guy who introduced her to this whole other world of adrenaline. And like the addiction to drugs, you become addicted to the rush. Let's go. Because of that attraction and because of her capability to indulge in this world and not get caught, they are inseparable, Letty and Dom. Some actors are skillful and some actors are truthful. And Michelle Rodriguez is purely truthful and beautiful and strong. She came out here all toughness and attitude. Rob was really open-minded to letting me build a stronger character. <laughs> Mia is Dominic's Dominic. sister, and she's more of the studious type. She kind of stays away from the whole racing scene thing. And I think if she had her way, her brother wouldn't be into what he's doing at all. It's a little dangerous. Jordana Brewster is a very unusual character in real life because she's actually just finished her freshman year at Yale. And normally you don't have actresses that are moonlighting from the Ivy League. She has a kind of an astounding beauty. She's a very fine actress. And as she is both dark and mysterious, the intelligence that she brings to her parts makes that relationship a very fascinating one to watch. I'm gonna go for a drive. Mendez plays Monica, and she's a customs agent that is working on the cover that the guys meet, and she's along for the adventure. Right with you, cowboy. She's an undercover cop who's gone way in over her head. She's trying to bust Miami's biggest drug lord, Carter Verone, and she's been on this case for 11 months. It's her whole life, and she kind of um, indulges in his lifestyle, <laughs> to put it nicely. It's hard to be in a position just, you know, having a dual life like that. I think the complexity sets in when she realizes that she really likes the bad boy lifestyle a little bit. And she's a cop, and she still has to bust them. And then comes along Paul Walker's character, Brian. And he doesn't make things any more simple because she likes him too. <laughs> it's another one of those situations where, gosh, this girl's so just drop dead gorgeous, and I know I shouldn't get involved with her, but I just can't resist. You might want to keep your eyes on the road, Playboy. Suki is a fun-loving girl power. She's sort of like a heroine. She's very, very adamant about being herself. And she's totally courageous. She's a daredevil. And she can really race a car. The cool thing about Devin, you look at her in the film, like, you believe like she's a street racer, you know, as pretty and, and cute as she is, you know, she's hanging with the dudes, you know. She's the only chick that's gonna be racing, so you know, you really gotta hold her down, you know. She's a very capable driver, and you know, nothing really scares her. She's ready to face any obstacle. Uh -uh. 
Not tonight, baby. Bend over, boy. Natalie's character it was a challenge because I think in these kind of movies, it's kind of thankless role. It's like the love interest, pretty girl. And that was something that we we also sat down and, and really kind of worked on her backstory. And we were both adamant that she wouldn't just be an insert Fast and Furious lead actress here, like, you know, to look at, stand next to the cars. Justin wanted her to be a racer, to be like into cars, to know about them, to be just as good as the boys when it came to racing. I think being a female racer myself, I would say that Neela brings a good balance and shows that serious drivers can be really girly too. And you know, it doesn't necessarily take a girl who's masculine and tough and a super tomboy to be a good driver. They wanted her to be really kind of international. And I was very, I feel fortunate to have Natalie. She is, she does look very, you know, you can't tell what she is, really. And she doesn't even know who she is or what her makeup is. So where are you from, anyway? Here. No, I mean, not where you live. Where'd you come from? Does it really matter where I'm from? I was really excited to come back, because I think there's a bit of nostalgia, and everybody wants to know where all those characters went and what happened to them. And, and I think people are genuinely curious and, and sort of invested in them. And action! It feels good. Fast and Furious 1, it was my introduction to Hollywood. And years later, it's like yesterday. One of the things that Justin kept telling me to do was he really is intent upon making the women strong in the film. There are only two movies that I've done that everybody mentions. It's Girl Fight and Fast and Furious. And it's because of that strength that they rarely get to see in a character. I think these movies attract a female audience because of these girls. They have a passion for cars, and I think it's almost like an inspiration. These are just independent girls. They got their own thing going on. I think that's what's exciting, because you really want to go along for the ride and see where they want to, you know, where the characters are going to take us next. You would call these girls men, but they're women, you know, just equal. That's all. It's pretty cool.